I'll show you how to recreate the Universal Analytics shopping behavior funnel as closely as we can in Google Analytics 4. This is what this exploration is going to look like. Here's how we recreate it. Go to a new exploration or select a new tab on an existing exploration. And we're going to select funnel exploration, or you can select funnel exploration from the drop down here. And then we need to add our steps. Click edit next to steps. The first step is users. And we're going to select events and we're going to select page view. What this does is select all users that have a page view in the time frame selected. You'll note that users is the metric we're looking at here, not sessions. So that is a key difference between Universal Analytics and Google Analytics 4. Now we need to create our second step. The second step in the funnel is going to be view item. So anybody who viewed an item, we go events and we select view item like so. Next, we add the next step, which is going to be add to carts. This is going to be all users that have added anything to their cart. So we'll select add to cart like so. The next step is we will do checkouts. And that is going to be anybody who does, has an event, any user with the begin checkout event. And then finally, we add purchases, or more accurately, purchasers, which is people who have uh, users that have made a purchase, not the total number of purchasers that they made. So let's go here, we'll go events, and we'll select purchases, like so. Cool, I click apply, and just like that, it creates my funnel for me. Let's name the funnel. Shopify. Let's name it the shopping behavior funnel. And we're done.